Did you know that there are apparently people who are making thousands of dollars every month designing packaging for small businesses and e-commerce brands? Well, neither did I. So if you look on Fiverr, there are people here who are charging between $200 to $1,200 for packaging design services. And considering that this person has 144 reviews, which we all know only a small percentage of customers actually leave reviews, you can tell that this can be a pretty lucrative business. And here on the screen, we can also see that this person has seven orders pending. And and if we're going off of the mid-level service, which is the standard package, based on my calculations, this person has almost $4,000 pending right now. And the craziest thing that I learned today is that apparently you don't even need to have a design background or have any advanced skills to start providing packaging design services. And so in today's video, we're going to do a little investigation and see how hard or easy it is to start the side hustle. So uh, let's jump into it. So I'm a strong believer that the key to a successful and efficient business is having the right tools. So in today's video, we're going to be checking out out Pagdora, which is a tool that I recently discovered. It is a user-friendly tool for designing custom packaging, and it offers a library of templates and 3D models, which simplifies the whole process from die line creation to 3D rendering, making it ideal for businesses and freelancers looking to quickly produce high quality, ready to print packaging designs. Now, if you're already intimidated and wondering if Pagdora is beginner friendly, well, let's ask a trusted expert, ChatGPT. All right, so according to ChatGPT, Pagdora is considered beginner-friendly. It is a packaging design tool that combines a 3D modeling platform with packaging templates, making it easier for users to create and visualize their designs. So let's look at some of the tools and solutions that Pagdora offers. So it has a free mock-up generator, which will really help you to visualize what the packaging in the product is going to look like. It also has a free die line generator, which trust me, as someone who had to take design classes back in college, I can tell you this process can be pretty tedious and time-consuming. And in in fact, back in my day, we actually had to do it all manually. I sound very old right now. Anyways, having a free die line generator is very helpful. Just take my word for it. And it also offers a free 3D modeling software. And if you see, they also have plenty of other 3D mock-up generators, whether you're trying to design t-shirts, boxes, bags, cans. If you're, for example, working with clients in the food or beverage industries. So pretty much they have a lot of solutions for different types of products and industries. Now, another cool thing that I noticed about Pagdor is that they have design assistants, which can help you with things like box template makers. It has a free barcode generator, which Again, if you're like me and you have created and sold physical products before, you know that creating barcodes can be like an entire process. So it's pretty cool that this is one of the features that they provide. And then they also have a free QR code generator, which actually something like barcodes and QR codes could be a cool like extra service that you can provide to your clients and you can charge them extra money for the convenience. All right, so how exactly do you get started? Let's go to Workbench. And I've already played around with some of the designs here, but let's go to add a new mock-up. So in today's video, I'm going to pretend that I am creating, let's say a display box for a co-working space that I'm going to name the Side Hustle Corner, which by the way, I kind of always wanted to own like a little coffee shop or a co-working space. So if that happens one day, I'm probably going to name it that. Don't steal the name though. Now, as always, I'm going to set a timer and see how long this process is going to take. So there are a variety of different tools inside of Pagdora that you can use to create your packaging. So let's start with the most simple thing, which is uploading your logo. I just created created this logo inside of Canva, which took me less than two minutes. But most of the time, if you are providing services, the client is going to give you a logo to put on top of your box. Okay, so the very helpful part about this tool is that already giving you the exact shape of the box and what it's going to look like. And you do have the 3D image right here, and it's going to show you exactly where the logo is going, which as I mentioned, this process is going to take a lot of that mental work out of the equation and free up a lot of time. All right, so based on this, this is what the box Box is going to look like, which I do want to put it at the very front. And the cool thing is you can also see what it would look like once you open or close the box. So obviously you notice that the logo is slightly different color from the rest of the box. And so Pagdora has a tool that is going to help you to match the color, which it already pre-generated this color over here. And now you see the entire box is that beige color that I picked. So the outside looks pretty cool, but I do feel like the inside is kind of looking a little sad right now. I mean, you can keep it like this, but there's also an option to add like a pattern inside. So once again, you can upload your own pattern or the pattern provided by the customer. But just so that you know, Pagdora also has a library of different patterns that you can use. I actually kind of like this one. I think it goes well with like the overall design and like the theme of the box. So let's choose this one. 
this. I actually think that's pretty cute. And I don't know about you guys, but when I receive packaging that has like a pattern or like a cool design inside, I feel like it always elevates the experience a little bit more. And we all know that packaging can be a very important part of the experience, especially if it's a product that is going to be sold in stores. Hence, clients might be willing to pay extra for that. And you can see that there are quite a few other packaging design elements that you can add depending on the product that your client is trying to sell. So signs like, I don't know, flammable product, recycled packaging, or for example, if it's like a small business that is trying to raise their brand awareness, you can maybe add something like social media handles to it. And that's just examples. They have quite a few other symbols that you can use. Now you can test out Pagdora for free and see if this is the tool that you enjoy, which as you probably already see, it is pretty easy to use. However, if you do want to get watermark free versions, you do need to upgrade to the premium version, which starts at just $17 per month if you do the yearly subscription. And if you use the code AHA09, you'll get 20% off of your subscription. Now, just like with any other businesses, there are going to be some upfront investments or expenses. But if you really think about it, especially looking at these services on Fiverr, if you get even like one client on Fiverr, the subscription will more than pay for itself. And plus it is a tax write-off anyway, so why not? Okay, it looks like our first packaging design is pretty much done. And overall, it took me about 13 minutes, which wasn't bad at all, probably because because I didn't really have to do as much of like the math surrounding the packaging, which again is a huge plus. So I personally think this could be a side hustle worth checking out if you love designing and want to niche down a little bit. And so with that said, one thing I want you guys all to remember is that just like with any online side hustles, whether it's simple or hard to start, you do need to put in some time and effort to grow and scale it. You can't just, you know, throw something on the internet and expect to get rich overnight. It's just not how it works. I wish it did, but it doesn't. But the nice thing about living in our day and age is that there are so many great tools like Pagdora that can really help to increase your efficiency and once again make sure to check out Pagdora using my link down below and make sure to use the code AHA09 for 20% off of your subscription. And that is pretty much it for me today guys. If you like this video I actually think you're gonna like this one as well and in general if you enjoy content about side hustles and different ways that you can make money online make sure to hit that subscribe button because I release new videos every week and yeah hit that like button as well because it really helps me to grow here. Have a wonderful day and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.